Thank you. More funding for driving education. That is what Milwaukee's task force on reckless driving recommended about three months ago. But city leaders don't appear to be listening. Fox 6 investigator Brian Polson shows you why more than 40,000 driving age teenagers in Milwaukee County don't even have a license and how a program that aims to change all that is being hampered by the COVID-19 pandemic. You don't need a license to drive the basket. But you're definitely supposed to have one before you drive on the street. Some people just want to get out there. They don't want to they want learn to first. And that means taking driver's education. Everybody is to sit down, practice that book, study that book, learn that book. But there's one term you won't find in the Wisconsin Motorist Handbook that young Milwaukee drivers are learning from their peers. This guy's driving straight down the bike lane. A maneuver known as baselining. That's like switching lanes and stuff. The lane you're supposed to be in on your right. Everybody want to baseline like he said. Maybe our folks create a glossary for folks. He is all over the place. It's stupidity. Reckless driving has hit O'Shawn McCoy hard. Three years ago, his brother, Antoine Jones, died as a passenger in a stolen car that was fleeing from police. It was hard because it was only three of us and we were tight. Not long after that, McCoy himself was the victim of a hit and run. I came out the windshield, the seatbelt popped off, my neck was messed up, my back was messed up. At age 19, McCoy has a driver's license, but says nobody's talking to his peers about why so many of them don't. Maybe they they don't have nobody to put them in driver's ed or nobody to teach them the right way to drive. It is getting worse. Damian Smith is trying to change that. He's a youth mentor with Safe and Sound. Let's educate young people earlier. Let's start earlier about driver safety, about the rules of the road, about the do's and the don'ts. Our investigation finds that for every 10 driving age teens who live in the state of Wisconsin, five have a driver's license. In Waukesha County, it's closer to seven in 10. But in Milwaukee County, it's just three. We um, really devalued driver's license by, by creating all these barriers. Celia Jackson with the Coalition for Safe Driving MKE says one of the biggest barriers was the elimination of driver's ed from public schools. We just created all these hurdles for people to get a driver's license. Signal, mirrors, over the shoulder, go. 20 years ago, driver's ed was a regular part of the school day at MPS. If you notice you're not close enough to the curb, you can back up some more. But budget cuts in Milwaukee and in Madison. Nice and easy. Drove the mandatory training into the private sector. Make a right turn. Leaving a system that for many is financially out of reach. I had to pay like $300 just to get the, do the course. So a lot of people don't want to give up the money just for that they can go out and drive. I want all students to graduate with a diploma in one hand and a driver's license in the other. Jody Donabar is trying to fill that gap. It is sense of self-esteem and confidence, confidence boost that, that some of these students truly need. She's in charge of MPS Drive, a Milwaukee rec program that provides after school classes to students age 15 to 17. Just because you put on a signal does not give you the right to go. MPS Drive delivers the classroom hours Stop right here. and contracts out the behind the wheel lessons. Oh, we forgot something. Our gear. Oh, yes. And MPS students get all of it for the cost of a $35 learner's permit. But space is limited. It usually fills up within hours. And Donabar says COVID-19 has only made it harder. Before the pandemic, they could fit 25 students into each class. Now they're maxed out at nine. Our hope is by spring we'll be able to increase that. Since MPS Drive launched in the spring of 2016, more than 6,000 students have enrolled in the program. And like Sierra Taylor, more than half have gone on to get a probationary license. And it was important to me because like, okay, I can do like a little bit more now. And then now I can get to place to place without asking, like without having to get drive there. I can just go ahead. Freedom. Yeah. Which proves it's working. But I just, we need to reach more. In the time MPS Drive has been around, more than 28,000 driving age students have passed through the district, and MPS Drive has helped 3,600 to get a license. That's a drop in the bucket. I mean, you know, you're, you're looking at a few thousand kids over several years who have had a chance to have access to that, where there are many more that are eligible. There's only so much funding that we have. So if we can get back to a point 
where your driver's license means something. Earlier this year, Milwaukee's Reckless Driving Task Force recommended city leaders increase funding for driver education, but the city's proposed budget for 2021 includes no increase at all, the same $50,000 grant. You can't reach everyone. And that means thousands of Milwaukee teens may not be able to afford proper driving instruction once again. So they can like learn how not like try to baseline and all that and do stupid stuff on the road. But it doesn't mean they won't drive. There's a reason they're getting behind the wheel, killing people, their self, or harming others. And if history is a guide. They learn it from someone. Milwaukee streets could make for a dangerous classroom. Brian Polson, Fox 6 Investigators. Brian, thank you for that fascinating information there. Now, before the pandemic, Donabar says MPS Drive was serving well over 2,000 students per year. This fall, they are limited to fewer than 200 students spread out over several different schools. Their next open session is going to take place this winter. No word yet on where they're going to open up registration for that.